All right, welcome back. Uh, so we're going to talk about digital inputs uh, on the EV3, uh, plus a few other things. And we'll get into what that plus a few other things means here in a little bit. Uh, so there are really three different types of digital inputs uh, that we're talking about on the robot. Uh, there is the touch sensor, uh, which is this guy here, which the arm uses that. So when the arm comes up, uh, it hits that sensor that uh, knows it's all the way up. Uh, there's the buttons. Uh, so up, down, left, right, backspace, and enter the buttons you see here. Uh, and then there's also the buttons on the remote control. Uh, by the way, we put the remote control like this so that it can be picked up by the arm in a later unit. Uh, but if you want, you can actually kind of like very carefully um, pull these uh, red things off of each side. Um, and then you've got just the remote control, right? So if you want to just put these into your team box um, and just focus on the remote control for this part, that might make your life easier. And just leave these great things on the sides. Uh, and there are four buttons on the remote control, plus you can switch channels uh, to the different buttons. Uh, so there's really effectively 16 buttons. There's also one up here for the beacon, but we don't, typically don't use that um, unless we're, we're specifically using beacon mode, which we'll talk about way later. So 16 buttons on here, four per channel. So those are the digital inputs we're looking at, and digital inputs can either be a zero or a one, uh, also said as a true or a false, um, and that's what we're going to be learning about this unit, plus a few other things. So by the end of this unit, uh, you should be able to use those three inputs, uh, and then are a few other things, and our a few other things uh, corresponds to the LEDs that are on the front here, so there's two LEDs, uh, sound, which is played out of the bottom speaker, uh, the screen, uh, which displays here, uh, and then the arm. And the idea of this unit is that like an M1 you do um, you know stuff with digital inputs and the LEDs and then M2 is sound, M3 is the screen, and M4 and M5 are the arm. Uh, and then you kind of put everything together into a project. Uh, one thing that we'll be learning about in this unit that I just kind of want to give you an overview on is we'll be talking about using buttons as states uh, versus using buttons as events. And I just wanted to talk about the difference. Uh, so a, a button always has two states, right? So it's got a state where it's being pressed, so it's in a state of pressed, um, or it's got a state where it's not pressed, right? And the way that uh, EV3 uses those is true is when it's currently pressed, and false is when it's currently not pressed. So then this diagram, kind of like these, these lines here, the horizontal lines, they represent the states. And you can ask uh, a digital input anytime, hey, are you pressed right now? Uh, yes or no, it'll just tell you. The other thing that you need to know about buttons is that you can also do things with the events. So the event is kind of like the vertical line, right? It's like at the moment you do a press, uh, that's an event. Uh, it's like a moment in time. And there's ways that you can call functions uh, when those events happen. Uh, and so we'll be talking about those events. And so like a rising line is, um, well, I mean, it depends on which way you think about it, right? So maybe we'll say rising is released in this diagram uh, and pressed is falling, right? Uh, but those verticals are the events. And we'll talk about how you use buttons as states um, or you use callback functions uh, with the events. So we'll just kind of give you a heads up about what we're doing there. Uh, much like the uh, the last unit, this one has kind of like a build up and then kind of a final step. Uh, the final step this time is to make an IR remote control program. Uh, this is essentially the same program that you did back in a demo on the first day you saw the robot. The difference is, is that you're writing it this time, right? Um, and so the idea is, is that channel one on the remote control, you can drive the robot around. Um, so like motors, uh, forwards, forwards, back, back. Uh, channel two, you can do things with the arm. Uh, so red up is up, red down is down. Uh, and then blue up does a, a calibration to where it touches the top and comes back. And then as far as the buttons go, the only thing you're going to have to implement is that the backspace is going to exit the program. Um, so we'll just kind of show a quick little video of that. We won't uh, we won't go nuts with the video. Um, but you can see here that I've got a remote control. Um, and so up on channel one, make it go forward. Uh, and then down, make it go backwards. You can also see here how the LEDs are going off. Uh, so if you look at the LEDs, the LEDs go off. Uh, also, you are required to be able to do two things at the same time. So I did back together uh, and I did forwards together. If I switch to channel two, uh, you can see that red up uh, does an arm up. And if you watch the arm up here, you can see how it's going to hit that touch sensor. So it just hits the touch sensor. That's how it knows it's at the top. And then the bottom, there's no sensor at the bottom. You just have to know it's 14.2 revolutions to get down there, uh, which is something like 5,000 degrees. 
Uh, and then the blue up uh, does a recalibrate, uh, so it just touches the top and then comes immediately back down. Uh, so those are things that we'll learn about this time, um, and then we'll have this final project uh, where we do the IR remote. Uh, I think I can cut him off there. Uh, cool, so that's what we're shooting for. Um, in this intro video, I also give you kind of like a, a tip uh, for things that you might need to know, like uh, tricks for your, uh, for your development purposes. Uh, the, the trick for today, so last time it was, if it gets away from you, you unplug BNC, right? Uh, this time it's uh, that you can always exit a program um, from the SSH terminal by hitting Control C on your keyboard. And what Control C does is it does what's called a keyboard interrupt, um, and it just exits your program. Keep in mind, though, if, if the robot's driving and you exit the program, it's going to keep right on and driving, right? So it's the same as, it's kind of like crashing your program intentionally is what it really is. Uh, but just keep in mind that Control C can be a useful trick. All right, that's the overview for uh, what we're going to be doing this unit. Uh, obviously, what we need to do is we need to learn the APIs uh, and then talk about what's going to be in the modules, and those will be in the next videos. See you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.